In this studio mock-up, we're gonna be installing a Pella flanged window over drainable house wrap. That starts by cutting the window opening. This is gonna be an eye cut, so we're gonna cut completely across horizontally at the head and at the sill. We'll split the unit up the middle, and then we'll make some more diagonal cuts for our head from there. Now that we have it all cut open, we can trim this back a little and fold it in. Our next step in this assembly is we're gonna pull these tabs to the inside and fasten them. Then we'll trim them to a specific point so they don't protrude beyond the interior side of the window. We wanna connect the window to our actual rough framing and not to the house wrap. That way we ensure that we have one solid connection of air and thermal barrier. The manufacturer of this particular house wrap allows for staples, cap nails, or just roofing nails. They do make a recommendation for cap nails if you're over 40 feet in the air on a commercial project. You might have noticed when I made my eye cut at the corners, I made a diagonal cut. This gives me the ability to fold this out of the way waterproof my window to the wall, and then fold this back down at final installation, tape these corners, creating a shingle effect where everything above lays over what's below. For now, we'll use a piece of the tape to hold it out of the way during our installation. The next step is a sloped sill. We're gonna accomplish this by using a piece of cedar bevel siding. We could also cut our framing at a five degree bevel. That creates a positive slope. If any water finds its way in, we can move it right out using gravity. After our sill is sloped, we go straight on to their Hydro Flash tape. The first thing that we're gonna do for this sill is we're gonna create a bow tie to bridge the corner that'll help us transition from this face to the inside and the corner. So we've cut a six inch piece of their six inch tape, leaving roughly an inch in the middle of the material. We're gonna cut a V inward We'll start by seating this in the corner inside the opening, and then we can turn the corner and pull it out. This is gonna be here to protect this pinhole that will be created when we have a straight piece of tape and a straight piece of tape. And that way we've bridged that turn. We can do another one for the other side now. Our next step is to apply the last piece of tape to the sill. This piece of tape is gonna go from the back side of our cedar out and down over the face of the drainable house wrap. The nice thing about this tape is it has a split back, so I'm able to peel one half at a time and work just part of the tape. So I'm gonna go about six inches up the wall here. And then I'm able to just peel and work my way across. This last little bit, I'll pull it off all the way, make sure I get it tucked into the corner and then turn up the edge. Now it's as simple as peel the second layer off and start to turn the corner. Be 
because we've added this bow tie beforehand, I now can cut the tape straight out and fold around the corner, and I don't have to worry about creating a pinhole there anymore. The idea here is we're using the HydroGap drainable house wrap, but we're also using their tape. This gives us one manufacturer if we ever have an issue. We have one phone call to make to get answers. We have one phone call to make to solve problems. Now that we have the sill tape installed, our next step will be add some cedar shims. These shims are cut from the same sloped cedar bevel siding that we installed earlier. And what we're going to do is we're going to put them in the opposite direction. This is going to create a level platform for our jams to rest on. It also gives us an opportunity to shim the opening at all if we have any error. And in reality, they'll help us maintain an even gap all the way around the window. So when it comes time to air seal and insulate on the inside, we'll be equally insulated all the way around. Now it's time to prep the window for a test fit.